All right, I'm going to show you how to order their textbooks. We just now got the uh, code books correct for um, for journeyman prep, so uh, they will have to have these. But my advice to you all would be, if you order a set of these, unless the state changes, uh, now these are different than the ones we used last year because last year we did use that uh, that Frankfurt test that we had, you know, that that's kind of hard to get scheduled every semester on campus and. Um, that book is different. So if you have, if they have that one, uh, that will work for the prov test, the pro V test, but it, and it will work for that Frankfurt test, but it won't work for the Pearson test, which is what they're going to take. So they'll need the IMC 2015 and the 2009 NFPA 54. And if they have, um, one of the big refrigeration books, if anybody has one of those laying around, but we didn't make them get them this time. And honestly, I, from my experience, there's not a lot on there that they won't already know anyway. So I don't really make them get that. But um, all right, I'm going to show you how to do this. So you're going to go to maysville.kctcs.edu. And then the easiest way is just to go to the search bar at the top right and type in bookstore. Once you're there, uh, let's see. Welcome to MCT. Let's see. Bookstore, MCTC. Okay, now you're going to go down to where it says Rowan Campus Online Bookstore because that's where Montgomery Campus stuff is kept. So click that. And then once you're there, sometimes at the top it will it will show like a different college other than Rowan or different than Maysville. Uh, you can change that. I don't know that it matters, but it may. So I always change that. But you're actually going to change that again in here. So you're going to go to the course uh, materials concierge. Let me go back and show you. I clicked that quick. So you're going to scroll down, go right here, course materials concierge, search now. First thing to do is, uh, well, if, you, if you're if you going to be ordering these, just go ahead and create a campus. Uh, let's see. Actually, I don't know if you'll have to do that. Let's We'll hold off on that and see if you can order it without logging in because I know you may not have a KCTCS email, which is something I've never ran into before. But all right, so choose your campus first thing Maysville, Brown, Montgomery. All right, you're going to type in Spring 24, Department, ACR, Course, scroll down to ACR 290. And then the section C082. Click that. Retrieve materials. And what should pop up is the International Mechanical Code 2015 and the NFPA 54 2009. Um, the, I'm, I don't know that there's any used versions of this. Um, they're probably ordering them all new. So um, you're just going to have to order two print copies and add those to your cart. Oh, let's see, go back. There we go. Print copy. Proceed to cart. Okay, now if you're ordering for multiple people and honestly they're I know they could share them it's probably going to, you know, if they're going to really be studying this stuff on their own, they're going to need their own copy. So what I would do is just order a shop set. And then once they're done with them, you have them for next year's group. Um, so if you plan on sending anywhere from, you know, three, four, five, or however many you're thinking next year, or how many you have this year, if that's the most you think you'll send, then I would just go ahead and, and order that number. So let's say you have four people. So you're going to order four copies of that one and four copies of that one. <clears throat> and then once you're done, and if, like I said, if, if they can find a way to share, that's fine. But uh, they're for sure going to need them. They're going to need their own copy when they test. But I know they could share it depending on when they test because they're not all going to test the same day. Uh, the way we're going to do it this semester is we're actually going to have them uh, make their own test date. And we'll probably make it close to where they are. So... 
Um, like if they're in Louisville, uh, they can probably take it at JCTC instead of having to drive all the way to Maysville or Bluegrass. If they're in Lexington, they'll probably take it at BCTC um, because the only place we can offer it is at the Maysville campus, and that's a long way away. So uh, we'll find, we'll just have them find somewhere close to you, and they'll take it on their work weeks. All right, once you're done, proceed to checkout. All right, now at this point, I think you would be able – to just enter any email address, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but let's just see if it'll let me. Let's add it, let's do a different one. Oh wait, I gotta create an account, sorry. And I guess in this case, you would just say other preferred campus, Maysville, around Montgomery. As long as you're not a robot, click that. Um, it's like I have to enter a phone number. to check out okay so here's what you want to do um, these you could have them shipped to you but uh, let's see here. How do I do this? The pickup, I want to change that. Well, I may have to figure out how to do the shipping part myself. Oh, let's see. Ship to, okay, there we go. Ship to address, sorry. Ship to address, ship to address. And so what I would do is have them just ship to us at the college. And that way, when they come, they'll have them. Uh, you can have them shipped to your shop. Either way is fine. But if you want to do it that way, ship it to us. Sorry, I'm learning this as I go. I've never done this part. All uh, right, so let's just ship these. You can ship them to me, it's fine. Two, zero, one. Calk, C A L K, Avenue, Mount Sterling, four zero three five three. All right. So if you just do UPS ground, that's fine. And then continue. All right, now let's see. All right, then at this point, you're just going to enter your payment information, review all that, and then that should take care of it. So 
that's how you would order their books and uh, that should get them on uh, for their for their journeyman stuff and then we will be having them sign up for their journeyman exam um, I think in the past some companies pay for it up front and others reimburse after they you know after they do a pass test um, so if you want to do it if you want to have them come in and do it all by themselves they're gonna they're gonna know how to do it. Um, if you want to give them a card, but I think a lot of people just have them pay for it the first time. And then once they pass it, they get reimbursed, but that'll be up to you all on that end, but that should take care of it. So if you have any questions, let me know. And we need to get these ordered as soon as we can, because when they're back in February here in a couple of weeks, uh, we're going to start going through these pretty quick. So thanks.